and to take a few minutes to talk about what you could do to reduce the amount of stress in your life. First things first, stop rushing. I know it seems like it's maybe not an option because you have so many things to do in a day and they're not gonna get done unless you rush from one thing to the next, but if you're really honest with yourself, there are probably a few things that you can scratch in terms of like, maybe you can postpone them. Uh, maybe there's some things that don't even need to get done. Um, and maybe you stop putting the pressure on yourself and the urgency to get them done now. Um, I'm located in New York City where everybody wants everything right now, but that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to act that way on every single item. Prioritize and then simplify the rest. Um, next up, have some kind of daily practice for yourself. That could be getting up early to have a cup of tea, to meditate, go for a walk. Um, you know, it could be something in the middle of your day where you feel yourself getting wound up and then, you know, you go for a walk or you just go for a meal and you eat it slowly. Maybe it's at the end of the day so you can wind down, which is really, really important. Other things that you can do their daily practices are just eating nutritious foods. So um, you eat protein for breakfast to make sure to balance your blood sugar so that you don't start fire, firing stress hormones from having insulin and blood sugar dysregulations. So your daily practice can be, it doesn't have to be a mindfulness practice, though those are incredibly helpful. It could be just other healthy practices that make you feel more balanced. Third tip, is the possibility of integrating something holistic into your life. And I think there's more interest in this area because we do feel more frenetic and we do feel kind of taxed. So if you're open to it, you might want to consult somebody about what you can add or integrate into your schedule that's gonna feel like it gives you more space. Acupuncture is amazing for feeling your stress response kind of going down, um, feeling like you are more calm in general and, and more, uh, more increased ability to cope with stress. If you don't have time for acupuncture or the budget for acupuncture, you could try taking supplements or vitamins. So certain vitamins can be super effective for aspects of the stress response. It really differs from person to person, but things like NAC and magnesium and vitamin D, um, these kind of things actually help you feel less stress. B vitamins are also super useful. Uh, herbs, incredibly. The herbs are incredible for all things stress like it's just amazing the wide application like if it's like you're kind of spent from doing too much all the time then maybe you need an adaptogenic herb like rhodiola or eleuthero um, maybe you just really have a lot of anxiety and so you just need to calm it down so maybe you need a bupleurium for example or a valerian root uh, so there are different herbs for different stress responses I developed a formula called Supernatural, which I sell online and in my clinic, which is amazing for people with high stress and anxiety. And you generally feel effects within a couple days of taking it. So there are ones like that that I offer and there are other ones that you could get prescribed by other practitioners. So know that the options are boundless, but there, there are solutions for you. You can feel better. You do not need to feel like a stressed out maniac all the time.